what I'm doing today. We talking about some new fragrances that's coming down the pipeline at Bath and Body Works. And I want to talk about it and get it out the way because once March Madness get under view with candles, I'm no breaks with that. But I do want to talk about this brightest and bloom. It might have a little mini haul at the end. Drink of the morning, our spinach based smoothie with ginger, cucumber, three pieces of strawberry, and some fresh pineapple, and extra on the green because I put liquid chlorophyll. If you don't know, chlorophyll is one of the best natural deodorizers that cleanse you from the inside out, help balance your pH, and in my opinion, helps you when you wear your fragrances as well because your pH is nice and balanced. So, brightest in bloom, y'all. Brightest in bloom, uh, just think about a big spring garden on Easter Day, on Mother's Day, something of that nature. You got jasmine sambac, you have carnations, and at all things, lily of the valley, they paired with this fragrance, y'all. Let's break them down one by one, jasmine sambac. That's not the original jasmine that we probably know. It's a spinoff of the original jasmine. The sambac, I call it... It's originally the Arabian Jasmine. Put it like this. If you know anything about these Arabian fragrances that everybody's are everybody into these days, um, your Alhambras, those Arabian fragrances that stick, it's given that. So your Jasmine is going to be light, airy, floral, real dewy, real greeny, but heavy on the musk. Arabian Jasmine, a.k.a. Jasmine Sambak, is very heavy on the musk. It is very pronounced. Again, think of all those Arabian fragrances. Okay, y'all got that? And then we say carnations. Carnations, depending on what carnations you have. In my opinion, the white, the pink, the yellow gives powdery. It gives airy, but it also gives a little twinge of spice, a little twinge of pepper. Okay. And then we float on down to Lily of the Valley. That's that dewy. That's that green. It smells like the grass is wet. It smells like you're standing in a garden. So what do all three of these florals smell like mashed together? I'll tell you. If you take powdery, peppery, fresh, dewy, sweet, musky, wet garden, it smells like, hi, my name is Miss Ethel Waters, and I make the best pound cakes, punch, biscuits. I attend Beulah Street Baptist. You gonna, That's the best food you're going to have east of the Mississippi. You know, I got big arms, so it's given the big arm lady meat, the potato salad. It smells like grandma. I don't know no other way to put it. It smells like grandma. It's not for me. Let me just go ahead and say that it is not for me. If you're a floral lover, this is going to be for you. If you are not a floral lover, I am telling you now, please stand back. The market for Brightest and Bloom, your sellers, you work at Bath & Body Works, hear me out. The ones that's missing, why did y'all take Moonlight Path out the store? There you go. Y'all used to have Jasmine. Y'all used to have Fresh Cut Lilac. There you go. Plumeria. There you go. It is heavy, heavy, heavy on the floral. And again, think Arabian. It's going to stick to the ribs. Let me show y'all proof. I did this because I knew this was going to happen. I got the original and I got three remixes. This sat all night and I still smell it. It is assertive. It is loud. And it is floral. Your Lancome La Bella Vistas, you're going to like this. Your Gucci and Blooms, you're going to like this. If you're looking for fresh, young floral, this ain't this and that ain't that. You've been told. What I get from this is I cannot think of nothing besides something my grandmother would wear. A white diamond lover. Yes, we're going that far back. She would love this heavy on the musk heavy on the lily of the valley heavy on the carnation and then the dewy green in the background all i can think of is fresh spring garden hence that's why they gave it the right name but let's check out the remixes so i tried to cut it with tropidelic and it did it so so it did it some justice 
But just know that must from that Jasmine Sombok, you can't do anything with it. It's still there. And these sat overnight. I test them all day in stores, y'all. And before I left last night, I wrote them all down because I was like, this is a bad girl. This, If you like a fragrance that stick and you happen to like florals, this is going to be a baddie for you because she ain't going nowhere. Now the Tropidella cut it. Yes, but not enough. Because we add another floral when we cut it with Tropidelic. Tropidelic added that passion flower to it. The Ylang, the rainfall, that aquatic, it toned it down some. But nonetheless, heavy on the Jasmine Sambok. And then I said, well, let me go something a little more sweeter, a little more fruity. Brightest in Bloom, Pink Pineapple Paradise. If I had to pick, this would be my winner because I just cut all that floral with something sweet. That worked. That worked. You got that sugary pineapple times all that floral. It does work. But will I wear it? No. Because I don't, when I said I have to love it and then I'll grab a mini because I'm on no body care. Brightest and Bloom Mini would be something that I would not grab just for the sake of cutting it. Now, I cut it with our bad girl. Champagne Toast is bad girl of the year. Like, everybody love it. You can't deny it. But when you put that champagne mimosa vibe with it and the berry note with it, it actually did nothing. Still heavy on the jasmine. Still heavy on the lily. Still heavy on the carnation. So Champagne Toast with that one went nowhere, you all. What I'm rounding this out to is this is just a strong girl. And that was the fragrance miss. If you get the mini EDP, I'm telling you, a little bit is going to go a long way. Uh, Brightest and Bloom remind me of one of these fragrances. If you work in the office or something, I don't think that's going to be one you can wear in the office. Because much like the House of Montal, it's a head turner. Like, what is that? Who has that on? And that could be good or that could be bad. Now, you have to know by now, every piece of fragrance is formulated different. Like your candles, wax. How do all those fragrance notes translate in the wax? Well, I'm here to tell you, um, in a candle form, I wouldn't mind it. That's home fragrance. I would not mind it. However, oil form in a wallflower is probably going to be a no because I can see that baby Throwing it like a twerk contest. So for me, the wallflower will be a no. The candle will be a yes. What may be a yes is a small hand cream. Because when you get to your cream emollients, again, those are formulated different. I want to say I have not tried it. In the cream formula, it may come across a little more powdery, a little more inviting. Fine fragrance mist, as I just broke down to y'all, that's a thinner formula. It's it's a no for me. I'm not saying you won't like it. Don't try it. I am just giving my opinion. And again, y'all, everything is not going to be for everybody because Luminous was not for me. I know some people that chasing fireflies wasn't for them. However, it was for me. So tomato, tomato. And I am a kind of person, I run away from florals um, because of my head. I think it makes me feel like I'm getting old. But you all know I love my rosy combinations. I have got several compliments on florals that stuck on me. I just can't work my way up into doing it. I think it's more of a mind thing. However, my mom loves white diamonds. Um, she gonna love this. That's her mother's Ziggy, hands down. Now, let me get into this little mini, little quick, little Victoria's Secret outlet haul. Because if y'all saw my vlog, y'all saw those prices and y'all know I couldn't resist. I am one of these people that kind of have some sort of aborted body dysmorphia, having weight loss surgery and don't really know what size I am or coming to the conclusion that you're not as big as you were. Because tell me why I got all cotton panties and I got them all in a large. Um, I, I had one on the other day and baby y'all would call me saggy draws. So them ain't gonna work, right? So all these are brand new with the tags on them. So I told my neighbor, I said, I have something for you. So I'm going to give her all five of these. Now, I didn't find my favorite there, which had been like the same. Now look at this. I didn't, I just thought I was still a large. Um, 
but the seamless ones I love and those kind of like conform to the body but now I'm getting seamless and pink which pink is more juniors I have to drop down to medium but if I go seamless on Victoria's Secret um I used to be an extra large even the large on that is kind of like, uh, 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 and you want your seamless to stick to you. That's the point of having a seamless up under your leggings or whatnot. So I guess overall with Victoria's Secret underwear, I'm a medium. And that makes me nervous because I have a Lane Bryant gift card. I don't even know if it'll work for me. However, uh, $5 for two pairs of socks from Pink. Yes, 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 yes. And I like these thicker cotton socks because the person I deal with blood clots, I wear compression, uh, compression knee highs almost. They look real old, so I just tried to jazz them up with some socks over them. But $5, you couldn't beat this. $59.99 original, that T's Coco Soiree. Y'all know I've been loving my Rosie, my Coco vibes. My Rose Cacao from Bath & Body Works, everything that I had to go with that, I'm almost done with it. So I was glad to pick this up so I can times it times that ethereal coffee that I got for my birthday. And then you have Very Sexy Now. I wanted this since I was working there and I never knew why I didn't pick it up. But y'all, I want to say these was, these was $10 a bottle. So Very Sexy Now consists of tropical guava, mariposa flower, and coconut. And boy, I remember wearing this one. I know this would be a banger with Coco Paradise as a two-way concoction smelling very much like vacation. So this is fruity. This is floral, but it's more fruity than floral. Hence, that's why I think I like it. And it has no musk. So it's different when you say I might like a floral if it has must to it, I think the must time floral is what runs us away from florals a lot. And then side note too, carnations, roses, lily of the valley, that's a popular combination around all perfumers because they feed off of each other. Now there's a note in Brightest and Bloom I didn't talk about. Cedarwood. Yeah, it said it has cedarwood in it. But just to let you know, I got no cedar wood. I got full on garden. I don't know if that's an 82 fake out with the wordplay because I couldn't find not one drop of cedar wood. And as a person who love masculines and candles and sometimes and buy a lot of unisex colognes, I ain't find no cedar wood in there, y'all. And if you didn't know the notes to this, the freesia petals, the wild berry, and the cocoa. To me, the cocoa opens it up as the start of the show and the cocoa closes it out as the start of the show. So therefore, the wild berry in the freesia, I don't mind. The freesia in gingham, I don't mind. The original blue gingham because it comes across fresh. Even the freesia in gingham love, I don't mind because that's more of a uh, rose water time freesia. I didn't mind that. Again, I think my thing is if it's musky time floral, it's going to be a no. So it's, it's okay to hone in on what scent notes you like. Because that's what I did at Sephora. Give people little questionnaires. You gotta, you know what you like and know what you don't like. And that's, I don't like musk and my floral. I know some of y'all do. Sorry. And this concludes what I'm gonna start calling, Hey Boo, what's up with that new new series? I think I'm gonna do a series. Y'all know I love a series. But either way, got these candles on the timer. Getting ready for March Madness. I'm gonna see y'all on that side. Bye.